What's happening guys, it's Adam here, and today I thought I'd show you how to use Squarespace to make a professional looking photography website. Now, when you come into Squarespace, it's as simple as clicking get started, and within about a minute, you can start editing your site. Now, it gives you a list of options here of what sort of template you're looking for, so we're going to select photography. Now, there is a lot of templates here to choose from, not quite as many as some of their competitors like Wix, for example, but Squarespace are known for having the best templates on the market. They've definitely gone for a quality over quantity approach, and in my opinion, this is the way to be. And they've taken a similar approach with their features as well. They give you every feature you could possibly want without throwing unnecessary things in there. And each feature has been streamlined so it works to the best of its ability and really stands out. So once you've chosen your template, you simply need to select a name for your site and this can be anything. And then it will give you a couple of hints and tips on how to edit your site and it will also show you this assistant section on the right. So if you're a complete beginner, it's worth taking a look at this as it will make it very, very simple indeed. Now you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, there's a section that says in 14 days, the trial will end. Basically you get a free trial for 14 days for every single website that you design. That means you have two weeks in order to play around with and design your site before you make the decision to go live. Now I'm gonna put a link in the description below and this will take you to the best possible deal that you can get at the current time. That means if you do decide to go live, you'll definitely be saving yourself some money. So up on the left here is a simple menu where you can navigate through the pages and if you want to you can add extra pages in as well. Underneath that there's the design section and this will help you change the colours and the general look of your website. And also in this menu is where you'd set up your online store if you want to be selling things. Okay so let's take a look at how you actually edit the pages. Now after you've clicked on the edit button you're brought to this editor section and as you can see the title of the site is already set in place. However in most cases you are going to want to put your own logo here which is very simple indeed. You simply select the site title and logo and you upload whichever image you like. Now there's a variety of other things that you can edit in the header of the website and one of which is these social buttons. You can turn them off or on and in the main menu which I'll show you later is where you link them to your Instagram and Twitter pages. Now Squarespace works in sections and blocks which makes it very easy to lay out your website. So in this main section here is your gallery and underneath this is a section to add some text. Obviously you can add or remove sections as you wish but for now we're going to keep this one here. Now I quite like the look of this section with a plain black background but you might want to add an image here. To do this it's very simple, you simply come up to the edit button, select the background and choose which image you want to be in its place. So within each section you have different blocks. For example in this section here we have the text block and then we have this spacer block. Now you can make this spacer as small or as large as you like or you can remove it altogether. Once you've removed it you can then add in anything else that you'd like to add as a block by simply clicking in the space where you want to add it and then selecting from the menu. For now I'm going to add the spacer back in and then underneath this I'm going to add a second block. In here, I think we will stick a quote just to show you an example. And I'm going to want to make this look like it's come from a legitimate customer. So I need to say something true. Adam is the best, for example. And then we need to sign it by somebody who would have said this. So Mike Tyson might have said that. He probably did at some point. And then underneath this, we can edit the main text itself. So you can write whatever you need to write in here. And then the same goes for the footer section that's down at the bottom. From here, we can come up and start to edit our main gallery. Now, if you prefer to showcase all of your work as one gallery, that's fine, and that's how this website's laid out. But I'm going to quickly show you how to add a second gallery. So if you have two different subjects, for example, you can separate them out and keep the images apart. So once we've clicked on the plus button to add a new section at the top, we then select a gallery from the list and we choose the one which we want to add. For now, we're just going to keep this simple one as I like the look of this. Now you can see there is two separate galleries, so each one needs its own title to make sure people know what it's about. So for this, we're simply going to add a new section and this is going to be a text section. So we'll put a separate header above both of these galleries and then we can work on adding our images. So first of all, we need to remove all of the default images that come in the gallery. For this, if you select the first one, then hold the shift key and go down to select the last one, then it selects all of them at the same time and then you can just hit delete. 
this then gives us the option to start adding our own in. Now this gallery was called animals, so I'm going to add all of the animal images that I have and I will put them all into this section. Once we have them all in there, we can then start to look at the layout of the gallery. So you can come up to the edit button and then you can choose the spacing and this will change the spaces between the images. You can change the row height and there's various other things that you can do to play around with to make sure that it's in the place that you like. Now you might want to put some text under each image just so that you can give people a bit more information and to do that you simply come up to the image itself and then you choose what you want to have underneath it. Then when you come back into the edit section you'll notice a button that says captions. Turn that on and then it will show the captions under each image which you've chosen to write something for. Once we've done all of this, we can come up and hit done and then save and we can see the site as a whole and check on the progress so far. As you can see, it's already coming together nicely and we've only been working on it for about three or four minutes. So you can see how simple it is to do, but if you were to put a bit more time and effort into it, which I'm sure you would if it was your own site, you can imagine the possibilities are endless. Now your homepage is very important because it's what your customers will see when they first go onto your site. But you also need to then click onto the about section and edit this too. And there's not much point in having a website if people can't then contact you afterwards. So the contact form is very important. Once you've chosen your style and layout, you then need to link your social media accounts and you need to link the contact form to your email address. You do this down in the settings section by clicking on the social links button and then adding your social media account accounts and then you need to click on the business information when you want to add your email address. Now when people fill out that contact form their message will be sent directly to your email. So that's about it for the basics of how this all works and it just shows how simple it really is to set up and get going whilst using Squarespace. You can add as many pages as you like into your website and within each page you can add or remove sections and then within each section you can add or remove blocks. Each one of these is customizable and there's a lot of options that you can choose from. So Squarespace is definitely a website builder that I'd highly recommend using, especially because you can get the free trial and try it all out before you go ahead and make a purchase. And like I said earlier, when you are ready to go ahead and get your website live, there's a few different pricing options that they have, but regardless of what they have on their website, it's always worth checking out to see if you can find some sort of discount. Now discounts can be hidden online in various different places, but what I've done is I've put a link in the description below and this will take you to the best possible deal at the current time. Now I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I hope you've learned something. I appreciate you watching and if you were to give it a thumbs up, that would be massively appreciated as well. Good luck with your website project. Make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss what I've got to come next and I'll catch you on the next video.